What's happening, guys? And welcome back to the channel. And as always seems to be the way, as we enter the last week of the transfer window, things start to be heating up massively. And last night, we had the breaking news that Real Madrid had a 160 million euros bid rejected by PSG for Kylian Mbappe. It remains to be seen whether they're going to go in with another bid or not. Um, Leonardo, the PSG director, has said that obviously Mbappe wants to leave. If Real Madrid meets their valuation for the player, then he can leave this summer. If not, then he'll stay and most likely go on a free transfer next summer. George, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think Real Madrid should go back in with another bid or do you think they should just bide their time and, you know, save their 130 odd million euros and just wait a year? Uh, it's, it's difficult because I think football's very much a, a now business and a, a year for a player is, is, is a long time. I know Kylian Mbappe's got time on his side, but Real Madrid don't want to fix the problems up front. You know, we all know that Aiden Hazard hasn't worked out. Benzema's not getting any younger, so they'll want that star signing. And we've seen it with Kane as well. I mean, whether teams go in for him a year down the line, I mean, he will be going on a free transfer uh, next year. So, again, you've got to look at PSG's corner and, you know, really, do they want to be getting 160 million euros now or sacrifice just giving away for nothing, but then obviously have a boosted squad to, to pursue their, their aim to win the Champions League? So, it's a bit of a, you know, blue corner versus red corner versus heavyweight, really. It's a bit of a boxing match going on. But um, for the, the important news is that whatever happens, I think Kylian Mbappe's got the perfect scenario because he's a, a fantastic club now who really have had the best window in what, what from what I can never remember. And if he goes to Real Madrid and wants the move, then he can get there next year, if not this year. So it's it works for him, but it's... I still expect Real Madrid to go in with another bid. Yeah, I think it's I think it's interesting from Real Madrid, knowing full well that the player really wants to go there to play, and he will obviously go there pretty much certainly on a free transfer next summer. But I think with this bid, I think it's it's almost come out of nowhere, really. Um, I think they're just kind of testing the waters and seeing like would PSG actually accept that we can get him now. I think from Madrid's perspective, you know, it would seem a bit odd to go more than 160 million euros when you can get a player for no transfer fee whatsoever the following summer. Um, but as you say, you know, they need, they need a marquee signing. It needs freshening up at the top end of the pitch for them. Gareth Bale's getting on, as is Karim Benzema, as you mentioned. It's not happened for Eden Hazard. Question marks over Lucas Vasquez, Vinicius Jr., etc. They need a Galactico signing that Kylian Mbappe would be. But, you know, for me, he's in the absolute perfect position because... You know, he doesn't need to force a move. He doesn't need to down tools, throw his toys out the pram to try and get this move. He knows that if Madrid come in with some more money, PSG will most likely accept it and he can go. And if they don't, he can go on a free transfer and he gets to play with Neymar and Messi in, quite frankly, what is one of the most outrageous front threes assembled in football. And for PSG, you know, obviously they're backed by Qatar, probably the richest country in the world, or if not one of the richest. 160 million euros to them is nothing. And their obsession is to win the Champions League. So from their perspective, they're happy, they're, they'd rather keep Mbappe because Mbappe enables them a better chance of winning the Champions League with him in their squad. And they can have one more crack with him and he gets to play for Messi with, um, for a season and develop his game even further. So for me, you know, it's, it's the perfect scenario for him. So he just needs to sit tight and, and, and see what happens. Yeah, mate, I completely agree. I mean, I've, you've, you've summed it up perfectly there. I think for, for him, it's the perfect position um, wherever he goes. I think, it's, it's for me, it's surprising that he wants to go to Real Madrid considering PSG have just landed the signing of Messi. You know, it remains to be seen how well Messi does at PSG, but um, for a team that he's been involved with for so long and their pursuit for the Champions League, it seems odd that he's going to go to a kind of, he wants to go to Real Madrid and where they're, arguably in a transitional phase um, obviously a lot of European players their favourite club is Real Madrid uh, everyone seems to want to go to them or Manchester United so it doesn't surprise me in that aspect but for a winning aspect I think you've got to look at the fact that PSG look the force to beat and they're certainly going to win the league title so it's just a question of how far they can go in the Champions League but we'll see mate I expect more more news on this as uh, the days develop 
Yeah, no, 100%. I think this will run down to deadline day, of course. But I think for, from Mbappe's perspective, I think he's probably a little bit miffed that, you know, he's kind of, he's, he warrants a top billing. And at PSG, he's kind of part of the subplot. You know, the, the main guys, whether rightly or wrongly, are Messi and Neymar. They're on a lot more money than he is. And I think the prospect of one playing for Real Madrid, which is very, very hard for any players to say no to. I think when Real Madrid come calling, you just don't say no. Um, the chance to spearhead a new project is and be the main man. I think that really appeals to him. So I can fully understand why he'd be attracted to going to that. But, you know, it remains to be seen. I mean, he could be, it could be a perfect scenario. He wins a Champions League with PSG and then goes off to Madrid for a free, on a free next summer. But I would expect him to be a PSG player this coming season just because purely the fact there's hardly any time left in the window. OK, PSG sell him. Who can they get in of the same quality or just quality down in such a short length of time it's going to be very difficult for them so I would expect him to remain a PSG player um, and then go to Madrid on a free next seeds next summer but yeah guys that's just our thoughts on Kylian Mbappe let us know in the comments below will he be a Real Madrid player this season or is he going to go on a free next summer as always smash a like on the video subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one